Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be making four Christmas cards using four die sets from the Spellbinders Christmas Flourish Collection by Becca Feekin. All of these sets include dies to make a complete card, including a card front for either an A2 card, mini slimline, or slimline card, as well as all of the pieces to decorate it. All you need is paper and adhesive. One thing you'll notice about this collection is that there are flourishes throughout the collection. The first dice that I'm going to use is called Let It Snowman A2 Card Front. This die set consists of 11 cutting dies, which include an A2 card front, a snowman, snowflakes, and everything you need to create your snowman, such as the hat, nose, and scarf. There's also a banner with two sentiment inserts, and the sentiments say, let it snow and so sweet. So before I make my card, I do want to mention that I will have product links to all of the products that I use in today's video down in the description box below, as well as on my blog at lisamearsdesigns.com. So let's go ahead and start with our first card using the Let It Snowman A2 die set. For this card, I am going to be bringing in the scrapbook.com Peppermint Smooth cardstock. You can see all of the pretty colors that are included in this paper pad. I'm going to be using the red as well as the green papers from this pad. And I'm going to take the A2 card front and die cut that using one of the green, it's more like a teal green piece of the cardstock from that paper pad. And I'm also using a piece of red that I cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I also cut a piece of white cardstock to four and one eighth by two and one eighth and I am just making a snowy hill, just cutting the top with my scissors just to make it curved to represent snow and I'm going to put that snow right behind the A2 card front. So what I love about this die is that this A2 card front reminds me of a snow globe. So by adding this little piece of white snow in the background, you can actually make it look like your little snowman is sitting in the snow. So I go ahead and attach that snow piece to the back of the A2 card front and then I'm just putting glue all along the back and I'm adding it to my red piece of cardstock. So this will fit perfectly on an A2 size card base because that red piece of cardstock, it is A2 in size. I did cut it to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Next, I'm going to take the snowman die and I cut a piece of white cardstock. This is super cute because it has some really nice detail on that snowman. You can see the little snowflake on its belly. I also took a circle die. This is the smallest circle die from the scrapbook.com nested circles and I die cut a piece of that teal green cardstock and I'm putting it right on the back of my snowman so that it has a layer of that teal green on the back and you can see that snowflake looks now that it's a different color. I also cut down a piece of scrap black cardstock and I glued it to the back of the face so that the black eyes and a black mouth would show through those dots. I also die cut the snowman hat from black cardstock and there is a cut line in the hat so that the snowman's head will fit right inside the hat. I also die cut these two dies from red cardstock and I die cut them twice. These are the dies that will make up the hat accents. So I'm putting one of the accent pieces across the top of the hat and then the other three die cut pieces are going to be for the scarf. So the same piece that I used for the top of the hat that's going to go across the neck for the scarf and then the two smaller pieces are going to be layered just as you see them to form the pieces that hang from the scarf. So I go ahead and add that to the snowman and look how super cute that is. So if you ever need a snowman for a card, you can grab the snowman from this die set and use it because it is super cute, has all the pieces that are needed. I'm just adding some tape to hold that black cardstock to the back of the face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the carrot nose. So I just took some orange cardstock from my stash and die cut that carrot nose and added it to the snowman. I also die cut three snowflakes from white cardstock. I'm gonna add those to the card. 
and I love how this is shaped like a snow globe. I think that is such a cute scene. So I'll go ahead and glue all of these snowflakes down. And then once the snowflakes are glued down, I'll add the snowman. I wanted to put the snowflakes down first because one of the snowflakes will be layered underneath the snowman. You can see at the top right corner of the hat there's a snowflake behind its head. I'm going to use the same red cardstock and die cut a banner sentiment. So I'm gonna drop in the words, let it snow. You can also use the sentiment, snow sweet. And once I die cut both of those together, it gives me the banner with the letters that pop out. And I want to back that up on some white cardstock. So I'm gonna take the same banner die I cut a piece of white cardstock and then I'll add the red banner right to the top. And all those letters actually pop out as well. So if you wanted just to die cut them in another color, you can also just pop in the letters back in. I go ahead and add the banner at the bottom of the snow globe. And then I'm going to add that to an A2 size card base. So again, the A2 size card base is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkle to this card. So I'm gonna bring in my Spellbinders Crystal Mix Gems. And I'm going to add some to the centers of the snowflake. So I have the three snowflakes that I die cut I'll add the gem to the center of those. And I'm going to also add one to the center of the one on the snowman's belly. And then I'm also going to add a smaller one up at the top of the snow globe on that snowflake that's at the top. And that completes this card. So moving on, I'm going to use another die set from the Christmas Flourish collection. This die set is called All Hearts Come Home A2 Card Front. So you can see the card front that's included in this set. It has some reindeer at the top with a sleigh. It has presents and some Christmas trees. That fits perfectly on an A2 size card front. And then there is a little house. It reminds me of a gingerbread house. Then there's a banner with a die that says all hearts come home and then the two word dies say for Christmas. So I went ahead and took the A2 card front and die cut it out of some white card stock and I also die cut the little house out of white card stock as well. I'm going to back that little house up on some gold mirror card stock. I thought that this card would be really pretty with, to have some gold accents. I am using some pink card stock for my card base. And that pink cardstock is a piece of Spellbinders cardstock. I'm not sure what color it is. It is from one of their card kits that I had left over. And I did cut that down to an A2 size top folding card base. So here I backed up the little house on the Gold Mirror cardstock. And I'm just trimming with my little scissors around that so that none of the gold cardstock extends over the edges of that house. I just thought this would be easiest to get all of that gold showing through all of the little holes in the house. You can see there's a heart on the roof, there's some lines, and there's also little square cutouts at the bottom of the house. I'm also going to take some of the gold mirror cardstock and I'm gonna die cut just the two Christmas trees on the left and right side of this A2 card front. I will set those aside and I'll continue to build this card. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the back of the white A2 card front and I'm gonna add it to my top folding card base. You can see that it does fit perfectly on that card base. I do wanna point out that the bottom corners of the decorative card front are rounded. So if it bothers you that you can see the pink straight edged corners extending beyond the rounded corners, you can just take your scissors and just trim it off. So I'm just doing that for both panels of the card base. I just have them held together and I'm just using some mini scissors and I'm just trimming it with my scissors to shape them to be the same rounded shape as the decorative card front. Next I'm going to do some paper piecing. So I'm going to take the cutouts of the 
Christmas tree that I die cut with the gold mirror cardstock and I'm just going to take the centers out of that tree and I'm going to piece them back in to my white A2 card front that I already have on my card base. So you can see it's just a matter of filling in the pieces of the puzzle here and I'm just adding the pieces of the Christmas tree. I'll add the star at the top of the tree. I'll also add the tree bark down towards the bottom as well as all of those little hearts. I'm going to do this for both of the Christmas trees and then I also want to point out that now that I've used the centers of all of those Christmas trees I now have the outline left so I am just trimming with my scissors to create this outline for the pieces that didn't quite cut correctly you can see a little bit here on the left side of this tree bark and then I also want to cut off some of these little circle border pieces and once I do that I'm left with a really cute Christmas tree die cut piece that I can use on my card. Look how pretty that is. I love it in that gold foil. I think it's so pretty. Okay next I'm going to do the same thing with the presents at the bottom of this die cut piece and then after I die cut those out of the gold mirror cardstock I'm just going to piece in all of the little squares that make up the presents as well as the little oval shapes that make up the bows. So I'm just going to do all of this off camera. And then I'm also going to die cut the top of that A2 card front with the gold mirror cardstock. And I'm just going to take my scissors and cut off the reindeer as well as the sleigh. And then I'll add glue to the back of each one of those pieces and add it right on top of my white card front. So I went ahead and added the sleigh and now I'm going to add the two reindeer. Now I do realize that not everyone loves to do paper piecing because it does take some time to die cut the paper in different colors and piece it back in. You can still make a beautiful card with this die set by just die cutting that card front in one solid color and adding it to a card base in a different color. So you don't have to do all of this paper piecing. I just chose to do it because I think adding that gold looks so pretty. I even think that if you would take the A2 die set and die cut that out of gold mirror cardstock and just adding that gold decorative piece to the pink cardstock that would look pretty as well. Okay, so let's add the sentiment. I have this large banner die and I'm going to drop in the sentiment and die cut that from white cardstock. And the sentiment says, All hearts come home. I also took just the banner die and die cut a piece of the gold mirror cardstock and I'm going to add the white banner to the top of the gold banner so you can see that the letters now have the gold peeking through. I will also die cut the four Christmas dies. Those are the word dies that you see there. I'm putting some double sided adhesive tape on the back of the gold cardstock and then I'll run that through the die cutting machine. And I will add the four Christmas to the bottom of my card and I'm going to add the banner to the top of the card. I do want to point out that the banner is wider than an A2 card base, so this will not fit in an A2 envelope. If you leave the banner as it is, you would need to put this in a larger envelope. Now one other thing you could do to fix this if you wanted to use an A2 envelope is you can just trim that banner down. So there's some lines there, there's a little bit of um, embossed lines on that banner which you can just cut with your scissor to make that into a perfect rectangle. I am going to add a sentiment to the inside of the card. This is a stamp set with lots of Christmas sentiments from the Peace and Joy stamp set. I'm going to stamp out just in some black ink a sentiment that says have a magical Christmas. And then I thought that I would just add that Christmas tree outline from the gold cardstock to the card. I thought about adding it to the bottom left hand corner but I ultimately chose just to add it to the top center of the inside of the card. And that completes this card. I just love these colors on this card. I think this card is so pretty. 
So moving on, I'm going to use another die set from the Christmas Flourish collection. And this die set will make a mini slimline card front. And this is called Noel Mini Slimline Frame. So it includes all of the dies that you see here. You have this frame that will fit perfectly on a mini slimline card. You can also put it on an A2 size card. There's a Noel die and there are some holly dies and some flourishes. I'm going to go ahead and take the largest die in the set followed by the die that has the dots on it. I'm going to layer those two together and die cut a piece of white cardstock. Once this is die cut you will see that it puts all of these dots onto that card front. And you can use this layer like you see it, or you can take this other layering die and line it up in the middle of this panel and die cut the center out to create a frame. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to line up that layering die and I'm going to hold it down with some mint tape and run that through my die cut machine. So you could actually now take this label and use it on another card. And since you now have a frame for that larger die cut piece, you can actually turn that into a shaker card, which I'm not going to do, but that is definitely an option. So I took that large die by itself and die cut a piece of red cardstock, and I'm going to put glue on the back of the white die cut piece and add it to the red cardstock. So now you have all of the red peeking through those holes as well as through the center of that card front. Next, I'm going to take the holly dies. I'm going to die cut some teal cardstock in two different shades. This is also from the peppermint paper pad from scrapbook.com that I used on the first card in this video. So I have a darker shade for the shadow and then a lighter shade for the leaf. And I'm just going to add those leaves to the top of that large shadow piece. And I will have two of these holly leaves on my card. So after I create this one, I will create another one off camera. I die cut the center out of some red mirror card stock, but I felt that that small circle was a little too small for the center of that. So I took the other die that came in this set, which is a little bit larger, and I die cut that out of the red mirror card stock and added that to the center. And I'm just going to take my scissors and trim off some of the teal cardstock that is showing underneath that red piece of cardstock. I didn't want that part showing there, so I just trimmed that off. Next, I'm going to take a piece of gold mirror cardstock and add some double sided adhesive tape to the cardstock. And I'm going to die cut my word die that says Noel. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the red part of that card front. And then I'm going to add the leaves at a diagonal on the corners of the red center of that card front. I cut a mini slimline card base from white cardstock. I cut the white cardstock to seven inches by six inches and scored it at three and a half inches. And then I added a piece of blue cardstock to the top. And that blue cardstock is five and seven eighths by three and three eighths. The blue cardstock is also from the scrapbook.com peppermint paper pad. And that completes that mini slimline card. The next die set that I'm using from the Christmas Flourish collection is called Flourished Ornament Slimline. So it not only includes the slimline dies to make your slimline card front, but it also includes the dies to make Christmas ornaments and all of the toppers for the ornaments, as well as the die for the ornament string. I am going to be using the Spellbinders red and green mirror cardstock for my ornaments. And I die cut the large circle and the small circle out of both the red and the green. I also cut down some white cardstock and put some double sided adhesive tape on the back. And I'm going to die cut the top layering piece of the ornament. This is the flourish design. 
by dropping in the flourish design into the circle. So I'm going to do that for both the large and the small ornament and there are two large and two small ornaments so I'm going to die cut all four of them and you can see what those designs look like after they're die cut. So you have this beautiful flourish design on the top of the ornament and you can actually then back those up onto the solid green and the solid red circles that I die cut. So you can see after I weed out all of those little pieces, just layer that on and you can see that beautiful Mara cardstock showing right through all of that flourish design on those ornaments. I think that is so pretty. And this card, as you can tell, I'm using some traditional Christmas colors. I love this new mirror cardstock from Spellbinders and the traditional Christmas colors. I think it's so gorgeous. So I'm just going to add all of these on here. And because I had the double-sided adhesive tape on the back when I ran those through my die cutting machine, it makes this an entire sticker so it's much easier to adhere to that circle rather than having to put glue on the back of that flourish design. So these dies here are for the ornament tops as well as the bottom. So you can either have a completely round ornament or if you want to step it up a notch, you can also die cut the tops and bottoms and have a little bit of a different looking ornament. So you can see you have a piece that will go at the top or the topper where you'll have hang the string and then the bottom. Now there are these are drop in dies, so I die cut just the regular die out of the red cardstock and then I dropped in the flourish piece, die cut that out of white cardstock, and I'm just going to add that flourish piece right to the top of the solid red piece of cardstock. So this piece is for the top and I did the same thing for the piece at the bottom. So again just stack those dies together, run it through the die cut machine, it gives you the white piece with the flourish design. I'm going to add that piece to the solid red piece that I die cut out. So I'll go ahead and add the pointed piece at the bottom of my ornament. So I'm just going to layer that right there at the bottom and then the topper, I'll just add that to the top of the ornament. So once again, you can have the larger ornament with the top and bottom, or you can have it just a complete round ornament. I also have this topper, which I just die cut out of white cardstock, and I'm just going to add that smaller topper right to the top of the smaller ornament. So a couple different styles of ornaments you can have with this die set. So as I showed you earlier, this die set includes some slimline dies. I'm going to take the smaller rectangle and die cut a piece of the Spellbinders Dune cardstock. And then I'm going to use the Spellbinders Flurry of Snowflakes 3D embossing folder and I'm going to emboss this die cut rectangle. So I'm going to have a bunch of snowflakes all over this cardstock. I think this is such a beautiful embossing folder. Look at all the detail in those snowflakes. Next I'm going to take the largest rectangle die in the set and die cut a piece of the red mirror cardstock and drop in that uh, decorative rectangle piece. And when I die cut both of those together you can see it puts these diagonal lines. It's a decorative diagonal line pattern across the entire outside edge of that cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and add the snowflake embossed background right to the center of the red mirror cardstock and then I'm going to just go ahead and add all of my ornaments. Now I did create four ornaments but I end up only using three for my card. I also used the string die and die cut some white card stock and I just cut down those strings to size of how tall I'll need them and I just added the string to the ornament. I added some double-sided tape to the back to hold it in place and then I added glue to the back of the string and the ornament and then just press that down on the card front. So I'm going to add three ornaments to the front of the card. I'm going to add um, this large red one and then I'll add the large green one and a smaller green one. 
Once I have all of my three ornaments added to my card front, I will use a sentiment from the Noel Mini Slimline card die set. I'm going to use the Noel sentiment and I'm going to die cut it out of some of the red mirror cardstock and add it to the bottom of the card. For my card base, I have a white card base that is slimline in size. It's eight and a half inches by three and a half inches and I just add that card front right to the top of that slimline card base. So here's a look at the completed card. I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know which card was your favorite from the Christmas Flourish collection. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, remember there will be product links down in the description box below, as well as on my blog at lisamearsdesigns.com. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye.